Chapter Five, Exercise Five Point Eleven, Part A. Why does the octet rule have exceptions? The octet rule has some exceptions because not all atoms have six electrons surrounding them. Octet means eight electrons. In particular, eight valence electrons. So six is wrong, ten is wrong, eight is correct. Eight valence electrons, such as in water, the oxygen atom is surrounded by eight valence electrons. There are no exceptions to the octet rule. This statement is incorrect. For example, in a boron compound, the boron atom is often surrounded by only six valence electrons. Such as in BH three or BF three, and also if we have a transition metal with d orbitals or some heavier non-metal with empty d orbitals, they can often accommodate more than eight valence electrons. So we'll choose this one. Submit. List the three major categories of exceptions and an example of each. Drag the appropriate atoms to their respective beams. All right. Boron. When we see a boron compound, usually they have only six valence electrons surrounding this boron, so it's incomplete. PCl5, uh, phosphorus, has empty d orbitals that can accommodate electrons as well. Therefore, in this PCl5 molecule, phosphorus forms five single bonds with the five chlorine atoms. So this center phosphorus atom is surrounded by ten valence electrons. It's expanded octet, six ten. Now let's look at the last molecule, NO. Nitrogen has seven electrons. Oxygen has eight electrons. If we look at valence electrons, nitrogen has five, oxygen has six. There's no way for us to have exactly eight. Electrons surrounding nitrogen, and also eight surrounding oxygen, because the total number of valence electrons is five plus six. That's eleven. We will have to have an odd number of electrons surrounding either nitrogen or oxygen, not both.